Molly Hogaboom. I live in Hopeway, Washington, and I have a website called Bespoke Hogaboom. And I made the draped sheath dress from Bootstrap Fashion. I made the dress from a silk crepe de chine. I lined it with a Bemberg ambiance rayon. I constructed a belt using grain as a stabilizer and a couple hand crocheted belt carriers. And the dress closures are two invisible zippers, one in the back bodice and the other in the side seam. And now I'm gonna take you through construction and it's gonna go quick. So first I printed out my custom pattern from Bootstrap, made sure my scale was correct, and got my materials together, including my silk, my Bemberg ambiance lining, and some interfacing, which I use only in the zipper area, my thread, zipper, and a sharp needle. I cut out my pattern and pre-treated my fabrics, choosing to steam the silk and wash the rayon. Now it's time to cut silk and people can get pretty intimidated. I use paper underneath my sheer fabrics, line up the grain lines, and I pin in the seam allowance only, making sure that my fabric doesn't drape off the edge of the table. And I use a rotary cutter, and yes, the paper does dull your rotary blades, but it's worth it to get a perfect cut on silk. And be careful going around the corners. I'm a very experienced rotary cutter, but um, if you're not sure if you can do that, go ahead and use your scissors. For all of my markings, I use Taylor's Tack, so that would be for my drapes and for my darts. I also cut out a strip of knit interfacing and extended my zipper seam allowance because I could cut the rest away later. Now it's time to join the shoulder seams of the lining and the shell fabric. I'm going to construct the bodices separately and then join them at the neckline for the best neckline finish. I interface the silk only where I'm going to put my zipper and I join the two necklines together, carefully pivoting around the curves. I trim my neckline seam line and understitch the entire neckline. This makes for a great finish. Next, I install all the darts on both the skirt and the bodice, hiding my thread tails within the garment. Surge finish, where my invisible zippers are going to be installed. Install the invisible zipper using a specialized foot and sewing slowly. My zipper tape hides the actual seam line for an elegant finish. I install my hook and eye in the bodice, and now it's time to move to the skirt. Surging the underlining and the skirt fabric together, and then joining all the seams, including the gathered folds. Finally, I join the bodice to the skirt, lining up the darts at the back of the dress and sewing carefully. For the belt, I use a sateen with a grow grain ribbon for structure and install my snaps. Bias binding for the armhole made with a one and a quarter inch wide strip, sewn to the right side of the dress and then turned and installed by hand just to the underlining and using fingers for perfect control. Now a baby hem, stitching first, turning, pressing, and stitching again. And finally, hand crocheting a couple belt carriers from two strands of DMC embroidery floss. So that was fun. We just made a dress in about three and a half minutes. If you want to see more detail and more construction photographs, you can go to my blog at bespoke.hogaboom.org. But this pattern was awesome. I plugged in my daughter's measurements and got a perfect fit right off the bat. I didn't have to make a single alteration. It was amazing. I hope other sewists of all shapes and sizes give this pattern a chance. It is a very classic, very flattering, and modern yet vintage-y pattern. It's just beautiful stuff. So thank you Bootstrap for a wonderful dress.